YouTube, Niner Empire, what is going down? Welcome back to another video. We were about an hour out from the 49ers-Rams game. Uh, it's 3.30 uh, here in Indiana. And um, so we got word just about 10, 15 minutes ago that Trent Williams will be inactive for this 49ers game against the Rams. That's going to be, I mean, a pretty decent loss. Um you know, because considering this is kind of like a must-win matchup against this Rams team. Um, so, really in all reality, um, it's going to be hard, but at the end of the day, it's next man up and um, with, with the Trent Williams injury. And um, he missed all three days of practice heading into the weekend. Uh, he's been dealing with an elbow injury uh, that he suffered last week against the Texans. And... Um, the team, the whole week, the team was hopeful that, you know, he would play and, and um, you know, the time off in between the Texans game and the Rams game would give him enough time to heal up. But it hasn't, and unfortunately, he's not going to be out there today uh, for the season finale. Um, now, and, and another thing, too, real quick, the Rams are, I believe, first in the league um, with 47 sacks total on the season. And that's, a, that, I mean, that's really, really good. Um, I don't know if that's the best, um, but I, I'm sure it's probably top five. Or, um, it's up there. Uh, and that's that's a lot of sacks. So um, now supposedly they're saying um, that Jalen Moore, and Colton McKivitz will start. Um, will, they're going to be potential options to start uh, today against the Rams. Um, as for our quarterback situation, obviously Jimmy Garoppolo is returning, and he has been cleared to start. So he is starting against the Rams. Um, now, they didn't activate They didn't activate Nate Sudfeld, um, which really doesn't matter because – if Jimmy Garoppolo's playing bad, obviously they're going to put in Trey Lance. Um, but I thought that was kind of weird they didn't activate a third quarterback, um, considering Jimmy G is not necessarily 100% and has a chance to re-injure that, that thumb. Um, so I don't know. I don't know why they did that. But um, now, obviously, if the 49ers need to make any changes, um, they're going to, like I said, go to Trey Lance. Um, but either way, must win game, um, you know, for the Niners, I believe the inactives um, are Trent Williams, K1 Williams, Aziz Al Sha uh, Al um, who has kind of really had a great season this whole 2021-2022 um, season for the 49ers. He's been dealing with injuries though. He's been, I believe, he's been dealing with a um, an elbow injury or a forearm injury or something like that. Um, but Aziz Al Shair is a very good player, and I think him and Fred Warner are very, very good um, linebackers, uh, starting core linebackers for this team. So, sucks that he's not going to be out there. Kwan Williams, that really sucks. I'm not going to lie; I did not know Kwan Williams was out. I think that may be because of COVID, if I'm not, um, if I'm not mistaken, because there was. Obviously, uh, there was a corner or two that got COVID with the Niners, and obviously, if it's a position, that means everybody in that position, all the secondary, goes into a COVID protocol. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. We got some guys out. There's some starters out that we could obviously really use, one being Trent Williams and K1 Aziz, but at the end of the day, it's next man up, and just because they're out doesn't mean that we can't beat this Rams team. Um I think the most pivotal loss for the Niners is going to be Trent Williams, considering the Rams have 47 sacks on the season. It's Aaron Donald. They got Von Miller. Um, and the first time we played them, you know, Von Miller and OBJ were still kind of getting used to, you know, the Rams playbook and whatever. But, I mean, I would expect this Rams team to be a little more different coming out today. Uh, but the 49ers just need to do whatever they possibly can to win. I'm sure Kyle Shanahan's got a great game plan going in. They just have to execute. Um, Drake Greenlaw, got to gotta note this. Drake Greenlaw will be active for the first time since re-injuring his groin in Week 12. Drake Greenlaw, um, the 49ers have missed all season. I feel like he's been kind of forgotten about. He actually has started for the 49ers. Uh, he started um, at the beginning of the year. He was, he's been our starting linebacker. Um, but he's been out for so long, and um, with him coming back, obviously, 
that's huge for this Niners team. And, um, yeah, must win game. We got to win or we go, uh, you know, we have to lean on the, on the Saints to lose. Uh, and obviously you don't want to be in that situation. So hour till game time. Um, my predictions on this game, I think the 49ers can get it done if they're executing on the run, um, in the run game with Elijah Mitchell and Debo Samuel. Um, and if, as long as our, and I, I think the biggest thing today is the 49ers need to get George Kittle more involved. This is a must win game. George Kittle is one of the best in the business, if not the best. And, um, you know, the 49ers need to get him more involved as we get into, you know, January and February of football, because it's the most important time during an NFL season. And, um, you know, you want to have your best players out there making plays. So I think if George Kittle gets involved today in the play action game, Debo, um, you know, with jet sweeps, with short passes, um, you know, even with him in the backfield running, Elijah Mitchell, we can we can still win this football game despite these injuries and whatnot. There's no excuse. Um, as Fred Warner said, the 49ers have to be on their A game or this game, you know, will get out of hand quick. So it's going to be it for the video. Go Niners as always. I'm going to be back on here um, tonight with a post-game reaction video. And, um, yeah. Go Niners, and um, see you guys in the next one.